Health officials reported 13 new COVID-19 deaths in Minnesota that now brings the state's total to 591. The Minnesota Department of Health also reported 528 new confirmed coronavirus infections to bring the state's total case count to 11,799. Officials say that's an undercount because not everyone who gets infected gets tested. Though the state is working to make testing more widely available, experts also point out that not everyone who gets infected displays symptoms. The department said 452 people were hospitalized as of Monday, an increase of 18 from Sunday, with 194 of them in intensive care, down five patients from Sunday. In addition, the Minnesota Department of Health held a briefing call today where they discussed a medication that ultimately helps patients with severe COVID-19 symptoms. Remdesivir is an antiviral medication, and the FDA issued an emergency use authorization of remdesivir for treating COVID-19 on May 1st. This drug offers a treatment option for people with severe COVID-19 infections, and preliminary data found that it reduces the time it takes for patients to recover. According to the National Institutes of Health, a large study recently showed people receiving the drug were able to be discharged from the hospital within 11 days on average compared to 15 days in the placebo group. Minnesota received a small initial shipment of remdesivir this weekend from the federal government. It came in on Saturday and we distributed it Saturday night and Sunday morning, um, we allocated it to healthcare facilities for the treatment of people hospitalized with severe COVID-19 cases. As a reminder, the stay-at-home order for the state is in effect till at least May 18th, and according to an article from the Associated Press, Walls is still deciding to what degree he'll extend the stay-at-home order before it expires. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.